Hey everyone, today's video is going to be how to make uh, treats for your hamster, gerbil, mice, or rats. Um, so these are just going to be homemade treats. Um, there's going to be two types of recipes, but different types of shapes that you could use. As you can see, there's cinnamon rolls, bears, hearts, and clusters. Um, the clusters are a different recipe. So let's get started. So you're going to want to preheat your oven to 375 degrees. You're also going to want to get a cookie sheet with parchment paper. And you're going to need a bowl. <laughs> And here are your ingredients. You're going to need one cup of flour, as you can see there, half a cup of peanut butter, half a cup of water, it's a little off there, but whatever, <laughs> and half tablespoons of baking powder. And optional, you could use cinnamon, um, rolled oats, and a banana. I would use um, a tablespoon of banana. You're going to want to add your flour, all your dry ingredients first, so your flour, and then your baking powder. And you're going to want to mix your dry ingredients together, um, just so that it's all even. And now you're going to want to uh, add your wet ingredients, um, and this includes your peanut butter, your water and um, yeah. So here I'm adding the half a cup of peanut butter. It's taking me a while. <laughs> Doesn't have to. You don't have to get it all. Just most of it <laughs> in that bowl. And then here's half the cup of water, and I'm just kind of putting it everywhere so it'd be easier to mix. And then you're going to want to mix it all together until it forms a dough. And you're going to want to flour your surface. Um, so I'm just flouring it. And there's my little dough ball. <laughs> and then you're going to want to roll it into at least a quarter of an inch thick or thinner, doesn't really matter. Optional, but I am adding cinnamon, um, just ground cinnamon. Um, I did add quite a bit. Um, it is you, your hamster or small animal can have cinnamon. Um, I would suggest doing less than this. You don't want to kind of cut it up into little strips. These are for the little cinnamon rolls, and then you're just gonna. Just cut them up into however many strips or however many cinnamon rolls you want. Doing quite a bit. And then you're going to take each individual strip. So you're just going to want to roll it so that it kind of looks like a cinnamon roll. Little cinnamon rolls for the rats and then you're going to want to place it onto your cookie sheet. And you can use cookie cutters, which I'm using this little cute teddy bear. I'm just going to push it in. I didn't use cinnamon on this one, but you can if you want to. And you're going to want to place everything onto a cookie sheet. Those are my cinnamon rolls. lined up and then you're going to want to place it in the oven for 25 minutes or you could do it for 10 to 25 minutes depending on how hard or hard or soft you want your cookies to be I made them really hard so and you're going to want to take them out and let them cool before you do anything with them completely cool before you feed them or store them so here's recipe number two. Here's all your ingredients. You're gonna want rolled oats, two tablespoons of rolled oats, one and a half cups of flour, uh, baby food. You can use um, um, uh, real 
pureed, pureed uh, vegetables. Here are some carrots that I just showed, but I'm using baby food. Half a banana and some water to squish the banana and a bowl. So after you squish your banana, you're going to want to add your baby food. <laughs> and then mix your squished banana and your baby food together really well. Then you're going to want to add your dry ingredients, your one and a half cup flour, and mix it all together. And then you're going to want to add your two tablespoons of um, rolled oats and then just kind of mix it in. It is going to be extremely sticky and no matter how much flour you use, it's going to want to make like little clusters and just put them on your cookie sheet with parchment paper. I don't know if I showed that before. <laughs> and then you're just going to line it up in little bite-sized pieces. And you're going to want to put these in the oven for 15 to 25 minutes. Uh, depending on how hard or soft you want them at 375 degrees and there you have it now you have your very own rodent treats your small pet treats whatever you want to call them when storing them you want to put them in an airtight container um, in a cool and dry place and there you go now you're all done and you could feed them to your rats they last about two weeks and then there you go. <laughs> My rats really enjoy them. Thank you for watching this quick video. If you like the video, please subscribe, please like and please comment. And be sure to check out uh, later in the week because I have a very big surprise for you. So subscribe so you get updated on that. And I'll see you next time. Bye!